Today on Compi Guys, we'll be watching the official trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. And we'll be trying it out with Asahi Maruef, Black Nama. Kanpai. Smells like your typical black beer. It's really deep. It's quite nice though. Yeah. yeah. Very chocolatey. It is, yeah. So on a previous video we tried out Asahi Maru F's just regular lager beer. This is a beer that, like the dinosaurs, they brought out of extinction uh, from the 1980s, so remember, right? Yeah, that's right. And it still has the, uh, the Hilton Hotel, like free matches kind of logo <laughs> around the top <laughs> indeed yes so very 80s the only thing that's changed about the can is it's was the black yell available in the 80s as well i don't know like in the back it says in japanese like 1982 yeah i yeah, don't know if does. they're referring to the lager or something but we had a pretty good opinion of it and yeah i enjoyed it since we made that video i've bought it a few times i quite like it yeah since that video it's become much more widely available we can confirm since that video it never went out of stock. That's it was right. available the whole time. That's right. Yeah. Media stories. Could have been PR. It's a, it's a scarce item. Buy it while you can. You know, that kind of thing. Little bribing's going on between Asahi and some news oh, corporation. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Without question. Interestingly, on the sign in the store when I bought this, they said you can take this one and the regular one and do a half and half. Hmm. And you'll make okay. like a brown beer or something. So Sounds like uh, not like what university, like drunk university students do. But they're actually recommending that you mix them. I've heard the term half and half before, with like Guinness and something else, like a regular like straight whiskey, like lager beer or something. I've never tried it, but Jameson, it's a thing. Maybe Jameson. Do you remember your first time seeing Jurassic Park? I did. I saw it in the theater. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, back in 93. Uh, I think it's one of my earliest theatre experience memories. Me too, actually, yeah. With Home Alone, which was before that. <laughs> <laughs> never saw that in theatres. <laughs> uh, I watched it in the now closed down Crawley cinema. My hometown is Crawley in Sussex in England. And there was a one screen theatre there. And that cinema was where my father saw Jaws theatrical really? release. Hmm. And he said for Jaws, the line was like all the way around the building. I first saw Jurassic Park in the theatres as well in my hometown. In Jacksonville Beach, there's a theatre which no longer exists. It's called Popular Theatres. Very, very like local, like Gangster. low budget theater i remember like the theaters that they had what would you call it cineplex i don't know they were all like level like it wasn't oh, oh yeah yeah it wasn't slanted yeah. yeah before the movies played they had like really low budget ads for local like real estate agents I remember, <laughs> with like really cheesy like muzak <laughs> <laughs> my mother took me to see jurassic park at the time because as like a five-year-old kid i liked dinosaurs i still remember like five -year -old the, kid, so, the yeah. very like first scene in the movie with the velociraptor <laughs> Digging up the Velociraptor skeleton in the desert. And he slashes at you with this. Early vivid memory for me in my life. Yeah, I kind of wanted to be a paleontologist after this. Me too, me too. Yeah. I got a sweet, like a big old uh, Jurassic Park T Rex toy. It was like this size, like made of rubber. Cool. And had, had a little piece where the flesh came out, and you could see like the meat and the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going up to my mom all the time being like, Dinosaur meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, since then, there have been several Jurassic Park movies. A couple, yeah. yeah. Today, we'll be looking at Jurassic Park Dominion. Yeah. I keep wanting to say Domination. It's not Domination. Do you like any of the sequels? Two, I thought I liked as a kid, but, you know, as I got older, I realized mm, it's kind of a throwaway movie. The third movie, I, I never got into. Fast forward, like, a decade. Jurassic World comes out. It's an alright movie. Since then, I watched... The next Jurassic World movie. It's the one where the, they breed like a super dinosaur. Right? Yeah, that one. That's where the second one leaves off. It makes it to California. 
and dinosaurs have kind of escaped Jeff Goldblum says they're like on Jurassic World as in they exist all around the world <laughs> yes <laughs> this movie is being billed as the very final movie right seems that way yeah. I find that a little hard to believe but you know I'm sure they're just going to reboot it at some point I guess what I love about the original movie is the music had such like an impact on me even now when I hear that theme uh, song it's John like, Williams right right John Williams it's pretty intense it's quite scary in places somewhere between a like a summer blockbuster and a horror movie it does have some really intense things like the severed arm coming out oh, Mr. Arnold I remember being very surprised my mother took me to see that. Yeah, it's as quite a five -year -old kid. intense. <laughs> I don't think she realized. <laughs> it's quite gory as well. But I just love the whole concept. It's like a theme park that like, they've lost control of. I still think it's like one of the most perfect summer blockbuster movies. It's kind of a perfect movie. Like I can't think of anything wrong with it. To be honest, I think the dinosaurs in the first movie look better than the ones in Jurassic World to be honest. I do too. At least in the original Jurassic Park there's a, a mix of puppetry and early 90s in CG. Industrial light and magic and all the characters are fantastic. Every character. <laughs> Mr. John Hammond, is that his name? Welcome to Jurassic Park. John Hammond who's uh, David Atom, played by David Attenborough's brother, Richard Attenborough. Oh shit, really? Sam Neill, uh, known for his uh, previous Hollywood blockbuster, Possession. The first time you look vulgar to me. Sam Neill was making some really weird movies in the 80s and 90s. You know? I kind of get that feeling after, <laughs> after watching Possession. And suddenly he's cast in this massive Steven Spielberg movie. So. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Dern? Yeah, that's right, Laura Dern. David Lynch's Bestie. Actress. And it seemed like that, Mom. <laughs> would be the only thing that would make any difference. You have the two kids. You're remembering the two kids before Jeff Goldblum. That is one big pile of shit. That's pretty interesting. Interestingly, like Jurassic Park 2, I watched it six months ago. I got a little more appreciation for it. It's Steven Spielberg too. The only thing I remember is like, there's a scene where someone's like flipping around on a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and then they like kick her after in the face or something like that. That's, that's all I remember. Um, granted, I haven't seen this movie since the 90s, but <laughs> it's really weird how some movies really uh, stick with you and others don't. The first Jurassic Park movie, I could probably quote most of it. So we've talked so, about one side of the bookend for this series. Let's talk about the other side of the bookend, Jurassic World Dominion. Jurassic World Dominion, the return of the original cast. And that's what she's right there. Got some dinosaurs. Definitely CG. Yep. I'm gonna have to rewind. Pardon me. From the first movie, he says, you know, he explains how they're turning the eggs. Mm -hmm. There is. That one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna say, as a kid, I always really wanted that. A mosquito and amber cane. cane. Yeah. A <laughs> hundred percent they are selling that mosquito and amber cane for like fifteen thousand dollars at like conventions or something like that. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have them at like uh, Universal Studios as like a yeah. like super exclusive item you can buy at the gift shop. Would you walk around with that cane just like in daily life? I feel like you need like the whole like white jungle explorer suit to go with it. Though. Yeah, I think it works best with the white. Yeah, as I mentioned my favorite dinosaur was Triceratops, but after I saw Jurassic Park, because I was kind of a bit into dinosaurs before I saw the original Jurassic Park. I like the spitting dinosaur. I was always about Triceratops, Pterodactyl, and... Pterodactyl school. T-Rex. I can tell why I got into horror movies. I like the spitting dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dino Exorcist spitting on Newman from Seinfeld. Stick, stick, stupid. That's a stick point. No wonder you're extinct. <laughs> he was like, look at this little guy. You want a candy? <laughs> Thoughts? Thoughts. Jurassic World yeah. Dominion. They're definitely going for nostalgia vibes. They've got Richard Hammond's voice at the start, they've got like the foot stamp from the original movie, the T-Rex. Like, that's an iconic shot. I kind of get Star movie. Wars reboot vibes. But I mean, like, Star Wars episode 7, 8, 9 was, like, the yeah. end of that yeah. story. Ending up with bringing back old characters to, like, tie everything up. And then next year, some small dinosaurs kind of run out of the forest. And... 
the whole new character yeah. Zendaya riding a child. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking Willow Smith. <laughs> 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 Willow Smith riding something like a little thing through the field. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Maybe they just add Jurassic Park to the multiverse and Spider Man will fight a T Rex or something. Like <laughs> looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm intrigued by it. I am. I'm looking forward to it. I, yes. it, it actually got me to watch the first two Jurassic World movies. How's the beer? Is it Guinnessy or New? Brown? It's not Guinnessy. It's not Nookie Brown. It tastes very standard for like a black ale. I don't know. I'll give it a six. Seven. Seven. We might have some viewers who've never seen Jurassic Park before. Mind blown as that might be. Definitely watch it. Probably you could watch the first one and then skip two and three and watch Jurassic World. I and think so too. Be okay. Jurassic World drink or Jurassic Park drink. Jurassic Park drink. I'm thinking like some kind of tropical cocktail. Pina colada. I don't know. Pina colada. Tequila sunrise. That could work. Tequila sunrise. I could get behind that. Something very multicolored would be good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. Tequila sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they literally do fly away in a helicopter into the sunrise yeah. at the end of the movie. Yeah. So. <laughs> I could dig that. They're hearing the music. And just I don't want a tequila center in that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed our content, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button down below to stay up to date with our new releases. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, share it with your friends, especially if they're Jurassic Park. Thanks. And we'll see you on the next video. Kind of wanted to hear someone's most of the time. <laughs> <laughs>